At the parade for the 77th Army Day in Pune, during the Southern Command Investiture Ceremony in 2025, India became the second nation after China to integrate robotic dogs into its military operations. Today, we want to do a comparison of features between this robot and Unitree B2W. Let me know in the comments section if you will be interested to see how this robot dog compares against Spot of BD, even if I am using 11 labs to voice this script. We will begin with features of Arrow Arc, then we go to Unitree B2W, and finally I will finish by talking about which robot is the best and in which areas. These advanced robotic systems were developed by AeroArc, which is a robotics company based in India, in collaboration with an American company called Ghost Robotics. In case you were wondering, this is the reason why this Indian Army robot dogs resemble Ghost Robotics robot dogs. As for applications, this robot is designed specifically for the military, and it can be mounted with a gun, making it very lethal. Each unit weighs 51 kilograms and is equipped with thermal cameras, LIDAR, and electro-optical sensors. For those who don't know, electro-optical sensors are used in military applications to detect disturbed soil, missile launches, and other functions. It also has 360-degree sensors, which helps to give it a clear perspective of its surroundings. All these sensors enable this robot dog to conduct reconnaissance in dangerous areas, detect chemical or radioactive threats, and enhance situational awareness for troops on the ground. When it comes to operation conditions, this robot can operate effectively in extreme environments ranging from negative 45 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. This gives it an edge over Deep Robotics Linux, which operates between 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. This rugged durability is complemented by an IP67 rating, ensuring the robot is fully dust tight and can even withstand temporary immersion in water up to 1 meter or 3.3 feet deep for 30 minutes. This makes the AeroArc robot dog far more reliable in harsh environments, including rain, snow, and desert-like areas. These robot dogs are designed to carry payloads of up to 12 to 15 kilograms while navigating steep and uneven terrain with ease. And as of now, they have a top speed of 3 meters per second, which is around 10.8 kilometers per hour. But still, they are agile and adaptable and can offer a walking endurance of three hours and an impressive standby runtime of 20 hours. Their operational range extends up to 10 kilometers using Wi-Fi or LTE connectivity, ensuring seamless integration into modern battlefield operations. One of the key advantages of these robotic mules from AeroArc is their modularity. They can be quickly assembled or disassembled within just 15 minutes, making them highly deployable in dynamic combat scenarios. The robots can be equipped with various payloads, including small arms weapon systems, loitering munitions, robotic arms, and chemical or radioactivity detection modules. This make them a formidable force multiplier against the enemy. And finally, this robot dog uses NVIDIA Xavier CPU and GPU. This enable advanced computing for artificial intelligence tasks, allowing these robots to adapt and respond to complex battlefield conditions in real time. If there's any feature I forgot to mention about this robot, please let me know in the comments. And if you wish to try out 11 labs for free today, link is in the description. When it comes to Unitree B2W, the latest update from Unitree's B2W robot dog features an upgraded industrial wheel that has made it to look so impressive and able to access diverse environmental conditions in the newly released video. Among the highlights of the video, is the robot carrying a person, which is an action the manufacturers cautions against due to safety concerns. But they are using that same action anyway to showcase the robot's incredible strength. According to the information I got about the specs of this robot dog, it can carry a load of up to 120 kilograms or 265 pounds when stationary. But when it's in motion, the robot can officially support a load of over 40 kilograms or 88 pounds. They have not indicated the maximum load it can carry in motion on their website. But judging from the video's demonstration, since it can carry this guy who looks to be about 65 kilograms or more, I will comfortably say it could handle more than 60 kilograms or 132 pounds when in motion. When it comes to speed, the B2W boasts a maximum speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12.4 miles per hour, which is remarkable for a machine of its size and complexity. 
The upgraded wheels deliver a maximum torque of 50 Newton meter, enabling high performance and agility. This agility is on full display as the robot executes advanced stunts like double spins, 3.5 spin handstands, Thomas flares, side flips, whirlwind jumps, and 360 degree jumps, proving it is not just powerful, but also exceptionally versatile. We also have to talk about the robot's dimensions, which contributes significantly to its functionality. When standing, the B2W measures approximately 1,098 millimeters by 550 millimeters by 758 millimeters or 43.2 inches by 21.7 inches by 29.8 inches. In its lying prone position, it measures about 950 millimeters by 550 millimeters by 450 millimeters or 37.4 inches by 21.7 inches by 17.7 inches. From what we know, it weighs 75 kilograms or 165 pounds, including its battery. The battery itself has an impressive capacity of over two kilowatt hours with a voltage of 58 volts, offering a maximum endurance range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles when carrying a 40 kilogram or 88 pounds of load. Also from the video, one will notice that this robot's capabilities are engineered for challenging terrains and tasks. It has a maximum horizontal pulling force of 20 kilometers per hour or 12.4 miles per hour and can cross trenches with loads up to 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. And when it comes to jumping, the Unitree B2W can jump across ditches approximately 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet wide and climb stairs with a height of 20 to 25 centimeters or 7.8 to 9.8 inches. The maximum load it can sustain while standing is 120 kilograms or 265 pounds, making it highly suitable for industrial applications. For operating flexibility, the B2W is designed to perform in temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit and has an ingress protection rating of IP67, ensuring resilience against dust and water. Its wheels are 225 millimeters or 8.85 inches in diameter with a maximum rotational speed of 57 radians per second. The robot can climb inclines steeper than 45 degrees, showcasing its ability to handle rugged environments. The Unitree B2W is also equipped with advanced control and perception systems. Its standard configuration includes an Intel Core Y5 processor for platform functions and an Intel Core i7 processor for user development. An optional upgrade adds the Jetson Orin NX, supporting up to three devices, allowing for extensive user customization and advanced AI applications. In terms of innovation and versatility, the Unitree B2W sets a new benchmark for robotics. Its impressive specifications, including its size, speed, torque, endurance, and adaptability, make it a versatile solution for various industrial and operational needs. After working on this, it's safe to say that these robots are a world apart, and you guys should arrest me for doing this comparison. But you know when a subscriber requests a video, we definitely have to work on it. From the specs, it's safe to say that Unitree B2W is at its own level as of now, and nothing can even come any close. The AeroArc robot, of course, is fitted with some military-grade components, but it only comes close in ingress protection, where both robots have an IP rating of 67, and also when it comes to the operation temperature. But in other important things like payload capacity, agility, and speed, the B2W is far ahead. And if both were military robots, I am pretty sure even the Indian Army personnel would have preferred the B2W over the AeroArc robot mule.